Hi everyone, this is Clara and welcome back to a new Ricky Reading vlog! So, we are in the second week of Magical Readathon and I already read three books, which is exciting, you can see that in my last vlog. There is one from Monday to Saturday and then one for Sunday because I will see the 24 hours with them on Sunday. Anyway, this week I'm going to be filming entirely from Monday to Sunday. Um, so let's chat about reading a bit. Where am I at? I am currently reading Cemetery Boys. I am a hundred pages in, not so far, but enough for me to know that I am absolutely adoring it. This may be the five out of five stars and this may be a favorite of 2022 with the is going but that's it and then i have my tbr for the readathon here so i still have gideon to read and then the bolshar daughter and then um i can't remember the name but it's on my kindle wow anyway um so this week we see how this is going i have a lot of things planned but I also have some time in the train and some afternoon to myself on Wednesday I'm not doing anything. I do have to work though, so we see how this is going, but yeah, for now I'm going to get on with Cemetery Boys. See ya! I don't know how well you can hear me. Uh, there are workers outside again. working for work, preparing back to school day and everything. I have my ice latte with me and I'm feeling a tad inspired so I'm going to enjoy this moment and actually work and then I get back to reading. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> so in my last vlog you may have seen that I bought this new bookshelf that um a fan of i feel like this is what was missing in my living room absolutely at all this and i have some more books in a box here it's really really cute and i used to have words for my students on both of the sides but i decided that if i wanted to film in my living room which is a place i'm going to film the most of i can't because my name is on it so i made a wall with all of my students um notes and drawings and everything in my hallway and now I have my August poster, which was my sister's uh, Christmas present to me last year. And I actually bought some more fake ivy, which I'm going to put a bit here and everything. So I'm not doing anything, but I do have my posters of Star Wars here. I did frame one here, um, but I think it looks so cute and it's going to be such a cute setup to film. And yeah. I'm just really loving my living room like this is so pretty and this is just this is just me you know it's perfect so we are Tuesday and I haven't updated you mostly because one I was busy I worked all morning and then I saw my co-workers during the afternoon but also because during the evening I was feeling anxious and I just had to let it all go out. I called a friend. I went to my boyfriend's house to just sit in his garden with his cat. I can see you in the mirror. Do you want to say hi? Okay. <laughs> That's my best friend. So anyway, I haven't read yesterday. We can see you in there. <laughs> uh, today we are done with the anxiety. That is enough of it. I think it has taken too much of my vacations and my best friend and I are going to the stretch that things pop up this afternoon. I think we're going to eat Mexican food and I'll be reading in the train so you can accept some updates from me later on. Um, it's really hot outside, I don't want to go but that would be good for me. So.
this isn't the best angle but anyway it's almost 6 p.m and i just got back home from my day outside with my best friend she just left um and i'm going to show you what i bought because i went to the stranger things pop-up store thankfully i booked a reservation so we could enter really quickly and not have to queue outside for hours and the store was amazing i mean yeah and it had the one thing i wanted not in my size but anyway i still got it to show you and then i went to two shops to buy some stuff for the house i don't think for the living room because i think it's pretty much done but i'm going to show you at the stranger things shop the only thing i wanted and that i've been wanting for ever <laughs> is the Elfire club t-shirt so it's an xl and it was the smallest size they had um but I mean, it will work out, like for a lazy outfit in the winter with some black pants, it will work out. Um, then I went to, I don't know how to pronounce this, the name of the shop. Uh, they, I know they have a few around the world, I don't know how to pronounce it even in English, so I'm going to show you the name. It's this, um, and I went to H&M Hall. So at H and M I got this, which I think used to come with a cup, but I couldn't find the cup. But anyway, I just wanted to put it here to put like a candle on it or a few things. We we'll see. I bought this because I bought a few candles that are some are green and some are white, and I thought the green ones would look great on this i'm mostly green person and then at h &M, i also got a cup and a cup holder so this is a plate that comes with it it's so cute and the cup adorable like i just love it i don't know if i'm going to keep that as a plate to go with it or as an accessory to decorize but anyway and so then to this shop I bought, as I told you, white and green candles that are intertwined, so it looks funky. I also bought this candle, which I think it was supposed to be a flower, but now that it's green, it looks more like a shamrock. And I think maybe, you know, this could work. I don't know. And I also bought another candle holder, which is green and funky-ish, so... Yeah, I'm going to put that where I think it looks best. Bedroom, hallway, anything. And then I'm going to take a break, like watch some YouTube, and then I'm going to be reading. I read 40 pages in the train this morning, so... Yeah. Anyway, bye. This book just reference one of my favorite play in the whole world. Oh my god, I love it so much! So it's 8.30 and I am more than halfway through my book. I read 100 pages today, so I'm on page 200 and I only have 144 pages to read and things are getting darker and like we got to hear so much more about Julian's past, maybe I should, I should say Julian, I don't know. Um, and is like his group of friends who everyone thinks are like bad people, runaway outcasts, and they just happen to be, you know, kids who aren't treated who aren't treated well, and then something where well, sort happens, and I just want to keep reading, but I'm a bit tired as well, and I don't know. I keep moving. Sorry. <laughs> But I'm still really loving it. Still loving, right? Really loving everything. I think I figured a few things out um, about what is happening. One of my theory happened to be right, and then I have another theory for like the big scheme of the entire book, and I think I'm going to be right as well. Um, but we'll see. I'm definitely finishing it up tomorrow anyway, if I don't finish it tonight, because I still want to 
with some episode of the Samaritan Pretty and yeah anyway see you soon with another update it's almost noon but I've been doing nothing this morning I had to wake up at 8 a.m. because of the workers outside I try to sleep some more I get out of bed at 10 like my breakfasts and then my boyfriend called me and now I just received a package with lots of things to decorate my apartment with so let me show you I thought it would be bigger to be honest so first of all I have this which is just to cover my uh, teacher notebook teacher agenda or anything um, okay, then we have my fake IV. I'm going to put in my bedroom, in the hallway, and in the living room. I have, oh boy, this I can open without anything. The guitar stands. Wow, because my guitar is currently standing all by itself, and I'm not trusting it. Okay, so it looks like this, and I think it goes. Okay, and then I just put my guitar on. Okay, that's cool. And then I need a knife to move you. Um, just a mirror that you know makes everything bigger. I can put on my contact lenses easier. Oh no, there is this thing in it that I absolutely hate. It's going to be messy everywhere, and I hate the noise. At least it's well protected. Okay. And here we go. You can see yourself. And you can see how wet that looks, but it'd be perfect for all my contact lenses. Okay, going to put all of that away, and then I'm going to be reading, I think. Taking a shower and then reading. So I need to film a flat tour, which I will do somewhere in the near future but i'm going to show you what i did so this is my door when you enter i added some fake ivy here and here i can't show you this wall because there is my name everywhere with all, all the drawings and stuff from my students so yeah this set the tone i have my weapons set here stuff so this needs to go away no worries and then so this was already all in glass but this wasn't and this wasn't either so now i live in rapunzel tower but i also change things in my room so this was still here not this not this and especially not this i have purple and green pillows to go with my responsive team so yeah i think i think it looks more like me a very quick little update so i'm in my swimming suit because i decided that i wanted to go swimming today i haven't gone all summer i went during the entire school year but like i haven't had the time and the fact the thing is that um the hours that the swimming pool is open aren't perfect like they are only open during the afternoon and they are opening in the morning only on Sunday. Last Sunday I couldn't go because there was a readathon. And I'm scared there are going to be a lot of people, but I'm hoping people are on vacation. And I'm still going to go to opening hours. Like at 2 p.m. I'm gonna be there. So I just went outside to buy some food and some stuff for tonight because my friend Alize is coming over. And I changed everything is prepped for swimming 
I'm leaving in like 15 minutes so I'm just going to be eating and relaxing and then we're going to go swimming and then we'll be able to eat I put on here now um, the pool is closed just because of today or just because something happens and then we'll be open tomorrow so I think it's a sign that I don't I can't go to do it I'll be going on Sunday for sure at 9 a.m. There were so many people waiting to come in. So yeah. Now I'm just waiting to go home. Fun. Hey everyone, it's 4 p.m. I just took a shower, got really dressed for the day and I just took a break because I felt like as if I hadn't sit down since this morning. Um, so I'm drinking coffee because I'm tired and I think now I'm going to pick up Cemetery Boys which is kind of matching with my outfit, kind of. And then when my washing machine will be done I will go to my boyfriend's house to read in his garden with his cat. Um, hopefully he'd be in the shade Hopefully I won't be too hot, we'll see how that goes, if I'm too hot anyway, I'll be leaving. Um, but yeah, for now, reading a bit here and then reading a bit there. I would love to finish it and start another book right now, so yeah. Anyway, let's do this. just read a line that made me feel all the tears and right now I just want to but I put a post-it on it, write in it anything and I haven't annotated my books in so long so I think I'm going to order some some post-its you know and join all the fun because <laughs> this is killing me this is killing me <laughs> so I'm currently in my boyfriend's garden and here we go cat actually just there. Don't know if you can see her, she's black. Um, I have my earbuds, I have an electric fan, don't think to tie my hair with, water, my current read, and I haven't showed you the bookmark I've been using, which is Van Gogh, Van Gogh. Um, a painting I bought it in Amsterdam. I wanted to use another one but I couldn't find it and I think I lost it and it's wet because I never lose anything. And we have this much left so because of that I brought another one with me just in case. So let's see how much I get to it. isn't the best angle but this way too i just finished cemetery boys this is a five out of five stars for sure this is my favorite of the year yet um i was right about what i was expecting but i didn't um guess who was behind all of that let's say that um, It was so good, so 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 good. So right now I'm going to stay in here for an hour already. I'm going to be staying for 30 minutes just to read, to start with because you're on it. To start Gideon. Yeah. 
that's all. Bye now. Yes, my hands begin to shake. I thought I knew you, but I barely knew your name. Oh, I <rire> non, on dit pas, on dit pas. anything right now? No. Do I care? No. I spent the entire day out in Paris. My friend Alizé left with me. She took the train with me to Paris and then I met up with my friend Roxanne but we... My train was late because of several problems so we arrived late to our destination then we had to wait three hours to get in because it is called the Hotel Mafouf is basically a restaurant and a shop only open for the month of August and it is created by the most famous influence, French influencer. I think she's the only, she's the first French influencer to has ever been invited to the Met Gala. She's really huge and I really like her, I really like what she shares and everything and I just really wanted to go and it was so worth it. We met her dad, we met her brother, her dad was so nice to me and then we went to two bookstores near Le Louvre and then we walked to Opera and we went shopping in Zara home and I bought three glasses that I'm going to show you and I just haven't really drink water all the day so this is my second jar of water and my fan was just on. I just decided on my outfit for tomorrow because I'm going to Disneyland. <sighs> I never stop apparently. Um, and it's so cute. I can't wait to show you. I never wore this dress. I never have been able to have an occasion to wear it. So I'm so excited. I started this morning only giddy on the 9th and I'm on page basically 50. And I have to be honest, I do not understand everything that is happening. I wasn't aware this was happening in space, um, which is the only thing disappointing me because otherwise I'm loving it, but I'm just not understanding everything for now. It's a bit confusing, um, but I love it. I love the writing style and we see where this goes um, and I'm just excited to read more. So yeah, I'll be reading tomorrow in the train for Disneyland. Well, until I meet up with my friend in the train. Anyway, about what I bought. I bought three glasses because I wanted nice and pretty glasses to drink my ass lattes in. I don't have really big or more stylish glasses to take pretty pictures of and to just have a big ice latte, but not as big as the one I drink every morning. Um, so. For the biggest one, I got if I really took care of it. So the biggest one I have is like this. Um, it's more a cocktail glass, but I think it would look great on pictures and I just love the aesthetic of it and I think a nice latte would look amazing in it. 
So yeah, um, so this is the first glass I got. I need to wash it. Then I got two smaller ones, but they're bigger, like in sizes. So I got this one. Looks like this. Looks really nice for a little coffee in the morning. And then the last one is a bit bigger in sizes. Um, it's so pretty. I really love it. Um, like this. So you can see. Pretty much the same size, but it's bigger. Not huge like this one. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. Oh, I'm so tired. Uh, I think I'm going to take a shower and then take a real break. Like, put the phone on, put on YouTube, or read or No, put on YouTube, I think. I don't want to have to think or to read or to even let my brain do anything. And that's it for now. I'll catch up with you later. Also, I was reading in the train and my boyfriend called me, so I have to stop. He's coming back on Saturday, but I'm only seeing him, I think, on Sunday because I'm, I'm, late, I'm going to let him rest on Saturday he's an introvert, he needs it um, so yeah, all is good for now with the outfit for today yay First ride of the day. Stuck. <laughs> Everything is literally lit up and we can't do anything. We are being evacuated. We're in the back room. <laughs> Hopefully, we won't be evacuated this time. Playful spirits have interrupted our tour. Please remain seated. We will proceed shortly. We are at Disneyland with Alice. <laughs> Hello. And um, we thought, what better to do a good year and update them in the cemetery of Disneyland Paris. So we are tombs somewhere. Okay. <laughs> uh, I just put blood on my book as a mistake. So, yeah. I haven't read a lot, but I'm finally understanding what is happening, so that's the only thing I can hope to do. I finally understood the story, I'm finally getting things, so that's good. I am a mess. This is... Attention!
I haven't spoken with you in a long while so I spent the day at Disneyland Paris and it was amazing I was with my friend Alice as always and we met up with Spider-Man again but this time was so different it was the best meeting with the character I've ever done like I did nothing I asked for nothing and all he did was hug me and touch me and like talking with me even the cast members were kind of bored like why is it taking so long? It was the best. Um, if you don't know, Spider-Man is my favorite fictional character ever since I was a child. So yeah, right now it's 11 p.m. and I've been reading. I'm reading super slowly because it's the writing style is very peculiar and it's using even words I'm not used to it. I'm learning stuff which is so good to be learning some new words but like it's so weird because I have never read them never read those words even in class even stuff so yeah there is still so much for me to learn um I just reached the second act and now I am familiar with the basics of the story I'm still a bit unsure about the word what it's supposed to look like like I am um, I'm kind of confused. Usually when I read, I have a clear mind, a clear image about everything. And I do see some stuff that I'm not sure if that's what it is. And that confuses me a bit because I wasn't expecting this book, as it says, to be, space in, to be set in space, which may seem weird because apparently everyone knows it, but I just didn't. Um, so anyway, this is going to involve a try and this is making me so excited. I love competitions, magic competitions, trials or anything in books. I love this. Um, so I'm on page 89 and I'm really enjoying it. I think I'm going to keep on reading. I, my mind has been, my brain has been extremely stimulated today so I, I think I need to do something really calming and reading is the best option so I'm going to stay in that chair with my fan on and I'm going to keep on reading until I'm tired tomorrow I'm not doing anything I will go grocery shopping and everything and that stuff but I'm not going I don't have to go out I'm not seeing any friends it's just a new day so I'm going to be reading and chilling after such a busy week and yeah. Anyway, back to reading Gideon the Night. But anyway, this morning I woke up at 8 a.m. I have no idea why. I did went, I did went to bed quite early, but I just I really wanted to lay in, you know, because tomorrow morning I'm going to I'm going swimming and I just wanted a really nice lay in. But apparently my body was awake, um, so I enjoyed this extra time to go out, go grocery shopping early in the morning, thinking no one would be there and it would be that hot, considering it the last day of the heat wave. It was hot and there were lots of people. Um, and then I just did a few chores and I tried to sleep, but I couldn't. Um, I called my family, who they are in Corsica, 
I called my sister because it's her birthday today, Leo season. Um, and now I'm going to do a few more chores, but like for the blog and Instagram. Um, I'm going to answer to all of my emails and I'm going to start thinking about the plan for the blog starting from September. So, yeah. I could be reading. Yesterday I reached page 128, I think. But right now I'm still a bit tired, as you can see, so I need an activity to wake me up. So I'm going to do that. Anyway, see you. If I look even more like nothing than before, it's because I took a two hours nap after eating, which was so good to be honest. To be honest, I don't really nap. I used to nap a lot when in quarantine, um, during the first one, but then I completely lost the habit and Honestly, I think it is good. Like I, I just, just out of the reading blog, I'm out of this depressive episode that I've been, depressive episode that I've been going through for so long, and it's been two months now, and I'm really feeling like myself again now, and like just spending a day alone, just chilling and listening to myself. I haven't done that in so long, so it feels so good. So anyway, um, then I woke up and for one hour I read and I'm halfway through Gideon the ninth. Um, I'm on page 256 and I'm really loving it. For now it's a 4 or 4.5 out of 5 stars, depending on where this is going. I think what is keeping me from making it a 5 stars for me is because it's... You're going to think it's dumb, but it's like really vulgar, Gideon is like rude and not nice and really vulgar and everything and I understand everything, I understand this world they're living in is completely awful and dark and stuff, like it's literally necromancers um, but like this is something that like I can see that it's funny sometimes but it's not my kind of humor, like, yeah, so that's why I'm a bit, hmm, because I'm not a 100% fan of the main character. Um, I do like her, I just, sometimes she's just a bit too much for me, and I know she and I wouldn't be friends, never, ever, ever. Um, but so far, so good, I actually bought on Amazon the little post-it notes the pastel ones uh, because there were two times I wanted to tap something in it um, because I would love when vlogging to read you those passages tell you what I actually thought of it and I can't really do that without anything um, I'm not ready to really write in my books again but maybe one day I used to untake my books all the time um, but like putting post-it notes I can do that again um, so yeah, this is my update for Gideon. I think I will keep on reading. I'll probably finish the day being on page 30 or 30 and 50 pages um, to probably finish shit tomorrow. Like, it will be perfect. I'm reading it faster than I used to. I'm now more familiar with the writing style and it's all good. So I think I can definitely finish it up by tomorrow. And then move on to someone to do something else. <laughs> anyway, bye. I was updating my Goodreads accounts um, with how much I've read of PDN, and I was wondering why they said that this edition only had 444 pages to read, when mine is like more 500. And I just realized that it is 444 pages because. The last pages are just additional content. Um, so the story ends on page 444. Um, and I'm currently on page, just reading my nail, um, 312. So I'm actually on my way to finish it. I think 
I'll finish it tonight. We'll see how that goes. I'm not pressuring myself. But right now, I think I'm like I'm, I'm in need of a TV show and I just realized, which just remembered that one of my favorite TV shows is The Marvelous Miss Maisel, which I've been following since season one. But ever since a long while, I stopped watching because I forgot season three was coming out and then I never had the time to catch up and then I completely forgot TV shows existed. But I think I want to get back to it, so I'm going back to the Marvelous Miss Maisel, so I'm going to watch some some of it right now, and then we'll see if I can read some more. I do need to wake up early tomorrow because I want to go swimming, and that's all. Anyway, see ya! and I just finished Gideon the Nights. So I gave it four stars. Um, I do have a few things to say about it. I read quite a few reviews um, to see if anyone felt what I felt. Overall, I thought it was a great book. The writing was great. The story, the idea of the story was great. Um, and I still really enjoyed it and read it quite fast. But there are a few things that bug me. Uh, first of all, the the beginning is really, really slow. And I don't mind slow-paced plots, but it was just also really hard to understand. We're just being... Words were just being thrown at me and I just didn't under understand anything or what was happening, where it was happening, what it looked like. Um, it was really hard for me to get a grip of what was happening and I thought it was maybe, maybe it was just me because you know English isn't my first language, maybe I was just lacking of something and turns out a lot of people who didn't appreciate the book as fully as others because it's, it was either three stars or five stars on Goodreads, um, also thought the beginning was really confusing. Um, it was also weird in some stuff like some characters didn't know what a sink was, but they were throwing pop culture's references. I saw some people also complaining about Gideon's narrating voice, which, as I told you, I agree with that. Like, at first I found her awfully awful, that just is, and it was. I wasn't understanding what was happening, it was really slow, nothing was happening and I was just following this girl that I wasn't enjoying. Um, but then it started to pick up and it became this mystery murder novel and I really enjoyed it, I really enjoyed discovering the truth behind everything and I really enjoyed the ending. Um, I thought it was a great one and I'm really excited to read book two. Um, so yeah, it wasn't the perfect read. It wasn't what I was expecting. To be honest, I was expecting a fantasy novel to begin with, not a sci-fi one. I was expecting more like gothic horror thingies than what I had, um, which is a sci-fi novel about necromancers. Um, but that's okay, you know. So right now I'm either going to go to bed or going to start my next read which is going to be a lesson in vengeance but you will see me mostly read it i think i thought we were sunday no. I, I doubt i will finish it tomorrow to be honest because i'm seeing my boyfriend who just came back from vacations um but yeah anyway that's my it's on my kindle uh, because it's me arc I had and haven't read yet, um, but I'm excited to get to it. I have no idea what the plot is about, so it's going to be a discovery. For me, it's supposed to be fantasy. We'll see what this is really all about. So yeah, anyway, see you tomorrow for more fun.
Unless you're really good at saying what you mean. Hey everyone, we are Sunday. It is 1.30. I have 2 hours and 30 minutes before my boyfriend arrives and I had a busy morning, should I say that? I woke up at 7.30. Um, I ate my breakfast and everything, then went swimming, then came back around. I went swimming for the opening, so it was opening at 9 a.m. There were lots of people, but mostly old people or people. Or there was one man with his daughter, but they were both here to exercise, so it was all fine. No one was just randomly stopping and splashing around. I came back home for 10.30, um, I took a shower, I did some chores, and then I ate, and then I decided to take a nap, and I slept for an hour and 30 minutes. Um, and right now I'm going to take a break, I have my coffee, I'm feeling all sweaty because I slept and it's still hot, it's supposed to rain today a lot so i'm expecting that um to calm down the heat and i think i'm going to watch a bit of youtube before reading uh so yeah apparently honestly this vlog should be called clara reads whatever sounds good to her and has actually no idea what she is reading because i read gideon the ninth not knowing it was happening in space by the way, about that book, the more I think about it, the more I think I'm going to give it a lower rating, like 3.5 out of 5 stars. Mostly because I enjoyed reading it, I had fun reading it, but I still had a lot to say about it. And now that I think of it, I'm mostly disappointed. We'll see how that goes. I didn't know what Cemetery World was about. I didn't know what Storm Horse was about. And I don't know... Oh yes, also um, the daughter of Dr. Morrow, which I thought was horror because it was described as horror, it was in the horror category on Goodreads, it turned out to be not horror. Um, so, apparently for this one, I have no idea what it's about because I checked on Goodreads and some say it's fantasy, some say it's contemporary, some say it's horror. Apparently it's happening in a school, we have a map of a school at the beginning and I quickly read the first few lines of the summary so it is happening in a school which is good it means dark academia i'm all for it and i'm guessing it's going to be a murder mystery slash horror hopefully <laughs> hopefully i'll be scared i cannot wait to be scared by a book um so we'll see about that i'll give you an update before my boyfriend arrives but yeah anyway let's do this i'm really tired right now mostly because of the nap that I'm going to wake up. Bye! I cannot bother to turn the fan off. Um, I have the ASMR room which I created and I just started reading the book and there is a quote from The Haunting of the House which is a book I read like two or three years ago and I really loved it so that's exciting. Really exciting. For now, oh good. <laughs> So I have read 85 pages of A Lesson in Vengeance. I read 50 pages right off the bat and then another more than 50 pages. It's so easy to read and it's so my type. There are a few things that I, because I'm reading on my Kindle, I can actually annotate it. Um, so I wanted to talk about some of the notes I took and also um, about something that I if anyone has read Truly Devious and A Lesson in Vengeance, do you also feel like those are basically the same books? Because they both happen in a boarding school where there has been murders when it first opened. The main character is somehow linked to this. In Truly Devious, the main character was trying to find out what really happened, whereas in this one, the main character is kind of being haunted by this story and everything and she is really devotating devotating her time to this she used to at least now she's not anymore 
in the little house they live in on the campus, they both have this writer, young writer that lived here that published one book when they were young and had all of the fame and now they are writing a second book and they are currently writing it at the school um, and also in second year of this school they have to specialize in something for the senior thesis and in truly devious it was a school for geniuses who had to have like a big project and they would work on that every year so it kind of feel the same you know and i love truly devious so obviously i'm loving it this is more a fantasy horror paranormal approach than truly devious but it feels really close and yeah anyway so what i write down um the first comment i meant was like um okay about a line where the main character actually had lipsticks on she's called felicity and because no one was around she just took it off because there's no one around to impress and i'm just okay you do you i just i don't know i i can i wear lipsticks for myself personally even when i'm not going out i can wear lipstick just because i think it looks nice and i just thought it was weird it was odd you know to read that she just took it off because there was no one here so no one to impress uh, but maybe she's that kind of girl i don't know about uh thesis so she used she wanted initially because the whole murders in this school are linked to witchcraft we they are accusing the girls of being witches and that they did some ritual and stuff and bad things happened so she initially wanted to write about misogyny and witchcraft um, but because basically she lost her be best friend and she had to redo a school year and it wasn't a good thesis to start with they wanted her to change it and she decided to write on and i absolutely love it like honestly it made me want to write a thesis on it and i'm actually considering doing a phd so Anyway, misogyny and characterizations of female emotionality in horror literature. It be written through an intellectual history lens, how were these works in conversation with the social norms and morals of their times? How were they influenced by catalytic historical events in literature? And how did they influence history and literature in turn? How did person perception of women's emotional change throughout history as used through the gaze of contemporaneous horror writers? I just love that. I just love that. I think it's an amazing thesis subject. I just adore it. I think it's amazing. Um, and then I also that they talked about the main character and her ex best friend, the one she who she's dead now, bonded over Daphne du Maurier, who they both loved, and it's one of my favorite author. And I just feel <laughs> so like this is so for me it does feel a lot like true devious but this is so for me i'm loving it this could be another favorite i can't believe i'm really falling back in love with literature this august i'm so glad about the thriller it's fixing everything for me and the fact that i may be reading my second favorite of the year i'm just living for it um my boyfriend will be arriving in 20 minutes i just want to keep on reading to be honest but yeah, um, that's all for now. I cannot wait to continue on reading. I'm so, not really sad that I can't keep on reading tonight. Um, I mean, maybe I'll be able to read after he, le he leaves, but I don't know when he'll be leaving. Anyway, I just, I'm just really, 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 really loving it. And it's really speaking, speaking to me right now because for the past, I don't know, three years let's say two years i've been really falling in love with the horror genre and the thrillers murder mysteries and everything and in literature which i'm an october baby and all of my birthday parties were halloween themed and i always felt bad that i was i wasn't a horror fan you know which may sound stupid, but like, I love autumn, I love the fall, and I love everything that's arose around witchcraft and stuff, and everything that is dark and gloomy, and I just never understood why I didn't love horror. And then, before I started, before I moved into my first place here, 
I started falling in love with the horror and the thrillers and the horror genre in general. And I haven't really continued on with it because I just moved and I'm a really anxious person and I needed time to really focus on trusting this place before being able to read horror again. But now I'm really rediscovering this genre and actually really reading a lot of thrillers and horror novels and that's why you wanted to be scared by this daughter of Dr. Morrow. I just love it and I'm so happy because I feel like it was the missing piece of me somehow. And so I also asked my boyfriend to initiate me to horror movies. He never understood how I, ne I don't like horror movies because I'm not afraid of anything cool or anything. Um, I my favorite series is Stranger Things and my favorite episodes in it are the ones where they're stuck in one place and there is a monster and they have to escape but the monster is here and he's like that's a horror plot <laughs> and um, I just so I asked him to initiate me we're supposed to go seeing Nope which will be my first horror movie and I'm so excited to open myself to this and to finally accept this piece of me I feel like this is me coming on term with some of my you know also trauma and anxiety because I used to be afraid of dying and everything <laughs> a lot of things basically we're not here in therapy but and I just love it I just love gothic literature I love horror literature <sighs> and if I do a PhD I do want to write it on gothic literature but if I keep on going with horror I may expand that to it. So, anyway, um, I'll see you soon with another update. I'm just, I'm just really loving it. <laughs> Good morning. So I'm going to end this vlog here, even though I look like nothing. I just came out of bed. Here is my coffee because I need to export it and post it tonight. So we're not waiting or anything. Um, I read two books and started a third one. I had a lot of fun this week, so I finished Cemetery Boys, which was a new favorite of mine. I gave it five stars, and then I read Gideon the Ninth, um, and I'm going back on my rating, and I'm going to give it 3.5 out of five stars. It was a good book, just the more I think about it, the more I think it was okay. And I read 25% of A Lesson in Vengeance, so if you want to see me keep reading and finishing the three of them. Please keep on watching those videos. I hope you're enjoying them. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.